Let's do my morning skincare routine. I have updated a couple things that I do now, so let's get into it. If you haven't seen my previous videos, you can go and check that out where I do like my icing for my morning face routine. But lately I actually haven't really been icing my face because like the water in general has just been really cold. So I've just been splashing my, wa my face with cold water and not like actually putting ice on my face. I always use pretty much the same products. I'm not like constantly switching it up though. I am open to trying new things as long as it's like really gentle. So I always use my Moringa oil in the morning time. And that's like the first thing that I do. I do this in the evening as well though. I really love Moringa oil. I discovered it in the past like two years and i've just been obsessed so i just put it all over my face and kind of like my neck you know because i have extra and then i just rub it in my hands and so that's the moringa oil and it's antibacterial it's antifungal it's really really great for gentle skin like i have really dry skin so using the oil in the morning with my moisturizer is fine which i'm gonna do later so the new thing that i'm adding in this year is gua sa so this is actually a wooden gua sa and it's so pretty i don't know if you can see like kind of like the little i don't know what these are called it's made out of sandalwood i think so it smells so freaking good so i started doing this just because i want to increase the blood circulation and blood flow and also help my lymphatic system a little bit so this is what I do. So after I put my moringa oil on, I just do this and I just do it until kind of like my skin's a little bit red and then I just stop. So it's just so relaxing because I'm trying to relax my face. I notice I usually hold tension in like my neck and my shoulders and my jaw and my face in general. So I was like, I need to do something about this. So this is why I'm really doing Guasa because I feel like I just have too much tension in my body and in my face. And so I really have to let it out. And also increasing blood circulation because I feel like I definitely need that. Cause I, to be real, like I have not been consistent with working out and there's a lot of reasons to that. And maybe I'll make a video on that, but like I just want to help increase the blood circulation. So now this is kind of like oiled up. So I use it on my neck and my shoulder because I hold a lot of tension here. So I just do this from the base and I just roll it down and it feels so good. You could do like deep inhales and exhales, like deep breathing while you do it. But it's just like so relaxing. And I've noticed like my head is just so much clearer now that I'm kind of like releasing the tension. And it's only been like pretty much a couple of days, right? So you can really feel a difference afterwards because I really hold a lot of tension here. I'm really trying not to, but like I've been through a lot of trauma in my life and I think I have not, before in the past, I had not fully tried to kind of like release it. So now I'm like forcing myself, like I have to because after 2020 when I got sick, you can see my um, pin video, but like after I got sick, that forced me to have to relax. And so I've had to make a lot of changes. So I'm trying to release a lot more tension within my body. So I'm using the wooden guasa. I absolutely love this. I'm even thinking of like adding them into my shop because I just love them so much and I want people to experience it because it just, it smells good, it's natural. And also it's just, it works so well. I heard also it's good for like your chi and your energy. So I don't know how true that is, but I've heard about that as well with the wooden guasa. So that's one of my new morning routines. Another thing that I'm starting to do, which I had been doing, but I stopped doing and didn't do it consistently was like brushing my hair with this massage kind of like brush. Right, And so this helps with blood circulation on the top of your head because we have a lot of acupressure points on here. So it helps with our overall health in our body. Right? Just brush it downwards with touching your scalp. You don't have to do it like super hard. And I need to do some dry shampoo too today, which I don't normally do, but I have to go out later. So I'm gonna have to do that. Um, but yeah, I just do this a couple times a day. Like if you really want to keep your hair and not have it turn white. I have heard that this helps if you brush your hair like a hundred times a day. Like my aunt's good friend, she is a lot older and she brushes her hair like a hundred times and she has no white hair. I know people are gonna be like, what? That's crazy. But yeah, she's a living testament to that. Um, so I don't know. I think it really helps with blood circulation and blood circulation is supposed to also help you with like hair loss and stuff like that. So 
give it a try like brushing your hair with that but you know me i still use my tangle teasers to do the rest of my hair because i don't really use this to brush i use it to massage my scalp and then i use my tangle teaser to like actually brush it so that's the same here and then i have my biore spf 50 plus pa there's like four plus signs yeah you definitely want to get that and i continue to use this one because this is the easiest one. Oh my god i just squirted a whole bunch out look at that I don't know what to do with the rest. Okay, well, I guess I'll put it on my hands and like the rest of my body because this is a ridiculous, heinous amount. Um, but yeah, and then I just put it on my face. My face gets really dry. Like you can't tell right now because I just put the oil on, but it gets super dry. And yeah, now I gotta put this all over because I have so many extra. <laughs> then let me try my back of my neck too. It's finally sunny out too today. So I guess it's a sign that I do need to leave my house. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that's the moisturizer in the morning time. And then for my lip balm, I always use the Coco Care Cocoa Butter. This is my favorite. I get them on Amazon. Everything's linked in my Amazon too if you want it. And it is my favorite lip balm. And I have tried every single lip balm and I'm so picky with it, right? And then I'm going to go and do my makeup. So that's kind of like my new morning skincare routine that I'm doing. It's really easy. I keep things super simple because I just want to be as minimalistic as possible that's not the intention but i just feel like when i try to add too many things it gets chaotic so i just try to keep it simple but that is my new updated morning routine for 2023 maybe for right now and then maybe i'll do an update like later on in a couple months